Hi, this is Dana from Moracast, and I'm here to show you how to make a pair of these wonderful hug hoops. Basically, they are prong settings that with a loop, and you can put it through into your ear and it'll wrap around the earlobe. I have the same thing with a stud. It's very easy to make. So what you do is you start off with these prongs. I just curl them in. It's a lot easier to curl them in now than later. And all you have to do is a little bit. It doesn't, because it's sterling silver, um, it's malleable and it's not that hard to do. Then, so I've, I've curled it in a bit. I slip my bead in here. Um, then I make sure that it's approximately the shape I want or I'll do it this way. Okay, so because I've already curled in the sides, I hold it down and then I just push in a little bit on this side, push in a little bit on that side, and I do the same thing. It's a lot easier to do a little at a time, and you can certainly do it with pliers, but um, since you've already curled them, and there you have it. Some Sometimes if your piece is irregular, you might have to um, take your time and do it slowly and then adjust to say make sure that it's the right angle and there you go it is really that easy so I've also done that I've made a casting using um, already soldered pin for stud earrings and that is a druzy. And the thing with this is irregular height, and sometimes I found that they're very difficult to because they're not flat, um, so it's hard to glue. But this is a very strong setting. Same thing with this, which is a Briolet Chalcedony bead. Um, this is a Herkimer diamond, one of my favorites, and um, this is just a river stone. You can go hunting on the beach and whatever you find, you can now put them in earrings. You don't have to do a lot of heavy setting. Same thing with this, which is a eight by eight briolet. And all those druzies out there that have been too difficult or beads that have the hole too thin, too small to do anything with, now you can do this. And so this is a very narrow piece, marquee shape. You can make it so that the, the prong's longer or you can cut, if you don't like it to go that much, you can cut them beforehand. Um, same thing with this. This is an irregular shaped pearl. Um, it's got the holes on the side. As long as the hole's not showing, when you look at it, you're good. And this is sea glass, which is my favorite because we collect that, of course. And now you can make them into pairs of earrings very easily. And you, isn't that wonderful? Things that you find around the house. And um, what I find the easiest, this is a, anything that's round like that. This is 5mm. You can certainly do a 6mm and 7mm um, round bead. Here you have it. It is very, very simple and the clever little contraptions.